Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizuglin. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about toggle buttons. What a toggle button does? Let's have a look. I have here four columns. I have called them to make it easier for you to identify. So I've got a column customer, staff, ch children, and number. So this is a, a toggle button. So if I click once, I'm hiding uh, my staff table. If I click again, I'm showing the staff table. Okay. I'm going to create now some more toggle buttons to hide and show the customer, the children and the number. By, finish, by the time I finish this tutorial, you should have a clear understanding how to create your own toggle buttons in your Microsoft Excel document. To get started, I'm going to the uh, Developers tab, I'm going to the Design mode, I'm going to Insert and select Toggle button. I'm going to click a drag. Keep the same size. Now, with the toggle button selected, I'm going to click once on the properties and I'm going to name this appropriately. So, this will be my customer's toggle button. So, I'm going to call it show hide customer. Just going to copy this and I'm going to go to the caption. I'm just going to paste that. I'm just going to put here close slash and space. Okay, so I've sorted out my properties now. I'm just going to click exit. I need to go now to the visual basics. I need to double click here on my toggle buttons area. As you can see here, I already have my first toggle button. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste the, my new name of the, my toggle button. Let's remove some extra spaces. I'm going to highlight my private sub, paste it there, and this time my private sub will be called Show Hide Customer. Let's cut this from here Control X or right click Cut and I'm going to say right, okay so dim my C as string now I need to go back to my toggle button okay this is my toggle button for the customer so the column I would like to hide is the E column so let's go back to the visual basics and my C is my variable I'm just gonna change the letter to the E column and I will say if show hide paste stuff dot value then application dot active sheet dot column my c so my column dot hidden equals true else application dot active sheet dot column my c dot hidden equals false so basically what we'll do is this within my private sub, sub I've created a variable now the variable for every single private sub is exactly the same. I don't have to create, reproduce the variable. So then I will say my C in this case is equals to E. If show hide customer dot value, then so if somebody basically clicks on this toggle button, then I would like the value to change. And the value will change to this then if the user clicks on this toggle button again the value will change to this let's test it let's exit that so I'm gonna first of all need to click on the design mode to deselect it so if I click now my customer hides and my customer shows and if I click here my staff hides my staff shows okay the next toggle button to create is the children's toggle button. I'm going to, again to follow the same process. I'm going to click on the design mode. I'm going to click on the insert toggle button. I'm going to click and drag to create my toggle button. I'm going to, with the toggle button selected, I'm going to the, sorry, I'm going to the properties and I'm going to name my toggle button as show hide children. I'm 
going to highlight this. I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to go to my caption. I'm going to highlight the and delete the existing text. I'm going to right click and paste. I'm going to put forward slash there. I'm going to just going to put a space there. This is only the caption. I'm going to click exit. I need now to go to the visual basics again. And I'm going to press the enter key a few times. I'm just going to paste my show height children. Saves me retyping this again. I'm going to highlight the existing code that I've added before. I'm going to press the enter key a few times. I'm going to right click and paste and the only thing I need to do now again, I'm going to copy that from here I'm going to put this onto my private sub okay so I'll say my private sub is the toggle button show hide children underscore click so this is the event again my variable stays the same I need to go back and check my column my column is G is the column G I need to go back to the visual basics I'm gonna just going to change the E to G and I need to change the show height instead of customers it's going to be children and then I'm going to leave everything else as it is let's close this let's exit the design mode by clicking once let's show height show height so we can see as we can see we can actually show and hide all the columns from from the number and let's do the same for the number i'm going to click once on the design mode insert toggle button click and drag then i'm going to the properties panel i'm just going to put paste what i've copied before oops what I copied before I'm going to paste and the only thing I need to do is change the word number the chi children to number so show hide number I'm going to copy that I'm going to go to the caption control V to paste and then I'm going to put forward slash here and a space after hide I'm going to exit this I'm going to go back to my visual basics page I'm going to paste show hide by control V on my keyboard. I'm going to right click copy. I'm going to skip a couple of lines, control V to paste. I'm going to echo that. I'm going to change the show hide children to show hide number. Now, the show hide number is the column H. I need to go back to my visual basics, change the G to H. I'm going to change my show height ch children. Just going to hide like that and type number. You can always type it. I like copy and paste to make sure that I have no typos there. And everything else will stay the same. Let's exit this. Let's exit the design mode. Now I'm going to hide my customer. I'm going to show my customer column. I'm going to hide my staff. I'm going to show my staff column. I'm going to hide my children, col my children's column. I'm going to unhide my children's column. And finally, I'm going to hide my numbers column and unhide my numbers column. So, this is how to apply toggle buttons onto your Microsoft Excel to hide and unhide columns. I would like to say a special thank you to Mo Abdul who actually showed me how to do this today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Bye.